If the video is starting and then my hand is already painting, I don't know how I'll hold it for the entire video. Like, I don't know how much makeup people who don't do makeup for a living carry. Yeah, this is my makeup bag. It has... That mascara does not want to stay inside. Hello, hello. Hi, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new on my channel, hi, I'm Akanksha. I have a confession to make, okay? Just give me one second. I have a confession to make that probably this is the first time ever since I started making YouTube videos and since I did like sit down videos it's the first time I'm wearing a full outfit it was always a top in pajamas even if I'm wearing a dress I used to wear a pajama um, I know it's a jumpsuit but still my waist below is being seen today so it's like might as well wear something and I wanted it to be a one piece so put on a jumpsuit I don't know why I got into it but um, yeah I never wear full clothes and I feel like I'm so dressed up with makeup on I'm always in pajamas and now I'm like I can really head out somewhere and go party also uh, but anyways you guys have so many new things to say in this video look at this backdrop this is the new backdrop I've had this since so long uh, but then I think over like one and a half two months and I've been meaning to like I need to do a home tour or like a studio tour and I really want to like show this that time and then start making videos on this but that is not happening it's keep, like it's going on postponing again 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 uh, but it's happening next week I'm filming the tour finally next week so I thought might as well you know show this of course if we're doing like beauty videos it'll be like a title frame but today in this video did you read the title already we are going to do what is in my makeup bag uh, video and i need a larger frame for it so hence you can see like everything and you can see me in like such big space which usually does not happen uh, but i hope you you know like the new background let me know what you think in the comments below um and one of you guys only actually suggested about this uh, you know show us what in, what is in your travel bag make a video on it so i was like it's a fun idea and uh, i've never done anything like that so in this video we're going to see what is there in my travel makeup kit so let's get started So let's start off with the exterior, which is the bag. Oh my god, it's so heavy. I don't, I don't think the video is starting, and then my hand is already painting. I don't know how I'll hold it for the entire video, but uh, yeah. Anyway, this is the bag. I got this on Amazon. I actually did not buy it, but I do have one which I bought it. This though, my friends gifted me uh, for my birthday two years ago, and one of my friend hand painted uh, this on it. So it's it says AK. Uh, Kangsha Komirali, if you don't know. Um, so. This is it. You get it on Amazon for like, I don't know, I don't know, around 800 only. I don't think it's above 1500 for sure. Okay, this is the bag and then you open it and they have, it has various compartments. All these compartments, the best thing is like you can remove each thing and fix it according to the size, shape and products you have. You don't necessarily need to use it only for makeup. You can use it for anything. I will link the bag in the description. It's not sponsored, but if you are interested, then I will link it in the description. You can um, check it out and it has a compartment for like, you know, brushes, etc. So yeah, this is how I store my makeup whenever I'm traveling and before like, you know, just a disclaimer before getting into it, I know or I don't know, I don't know if this is normal and or like I don't know how much fake makeup people who don't do makeup for a living carry but I carry this much because you know, this is my bread and butter and I love doing it and especially when I'm traveling and like there are always a what if, what if I want to do this, what if I want to do that. I still try to like minimize as much as I can but still I end up with this much and this is always so heavy. This is usually 3 to 4 kgs and whenever I have like a excess check-in I take this bag and I hold it in hand like this and go because it just like you know works for me let's start off with what is inside uh one tip i would give when you're packing or what i do generally when i'm packing is i go like step by step like how i would do my makeup so that, that way i would not like you know miss out on products so that, and i know my routine and my uh, you know steps so well that i know for sure i will not miss on anything so first up everybody starts off with a primer so i first put in a primer i put this inside then i go in with my foundation and um, for foundation so this is the elf primer i really like this one it's a putty primer now the products inside this uh, keep changing from time to time according to what are my favorites at that point or what 
I you know I could get in front of me at that point and I just dump it in. Uh, but these are like the amount of products I take if that makes sense. Next I put in foundation and for foundation I always carry two options. Um, so this time I have the Huda Beauty 4 filter foundation. I absolutely love this one and then the mac, mac studio skin so this is the holy grail for me i do not travel without this foundation i'm an nc uh, 40 i'll tell you why because i mean of course huda beauty is also no fragrance non-comedogenic but this one like when my skin is in trouble i need this on hand i don't like using any other foundation and this matches me so uh, well as well and i can build it from like no coverage to sheer to medium to full so these are the two ones i always uh, carry so one which is like you know full full one is just like you know handy to make any look and then uh, moving on to concealer i have one in my hand i take three concealers wherever i go one which is a little full coverage um and which matches my skin tone like another one which is full coverage but a little lighter and Another one is extremely lighter if I do want to go extra with that, you know, under eye uh, highlight. Then what else? I do have uh, contour sticks so again, step by step. I like, I go with foundation and I go with concealer. Then I go with contour, cream contour if I want to. So I have this one. Then next I go with blush. So I have a couple of uh, cream blushes. See, all these are still cream products. Ouch. So this is the Daughter Earth Lip and Cheek thing. This is the Rare Beauty uh, Blush. Absolute favorite. So yeah, those are the foundation, concealers, contour stick, etc. Then we come to powder. So all my powders are right here. This is the Laura Mercier one, which I always use. Charlotte Tilbury. MAC Studio Skin. Again, I cannot travel with the, without this one. I absolutely love it. Um, then we come to powder blushes. So I have one, two blush. Oh, I always carry like two different shades of blushes. So for me, blush theory, I don't want to get into blush technicality, but I carry a, a coral one and a pink one. So I have a coral one here, I have a pink one here so that I can do any look I want on any outfit. Um, then I have one bronzer. I don't excessively carry bronzer. One works for me. Then I have two highlighters. One a little goldenish and one is little, you know, um, champagne -y. so again depends on the look what i'm going for i can use that uh i'm very like picky with the outfits and the makeup i want that time i kind of want the tones to really match like you know, the whole vibe makeup for me is kind of like a uh you know a combination of so many things like outfit jewelry etc so i like to do makeup in that way as well i think tones make matter i'm just realizing i should have worn some bracelet Okay, I'm back with my watch and bracelet on. I'm feeling so naked. I'm so I'm so not used to wearing them because like in a tight frame when I do beauty videos, they're like not even seen. And now I'm like I should have worn. So consider it was there since the starting of the video. Okay. So yeah, that's about. So yeah, this is my cream bronzer, powder, blush, wagera, wagera, highlighter. Then this section is all like lipstick. So I am a more of a bullet lipstick person. So that's all I carry. And they nicely fit here. So I carry like um, two coral shades, two pink shades, two nudes, one red. Like just again, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lipsticks here. And I carry, if I want any liquid lipsticks, then I carry it in a separate um, uh, pouch because it's like too big for this bag. My mascara fell out. Then that is about it for this one. Here there's a lash curler and like a mascara as well. And moving on to the top section, here is all my brushes. So first I pack all my like products and then I go to brushes and I'm like, okay, for foundation I need a brush, then concealer I need a brush and stuff like that. If you're a sponge kind of girl, then sponge does everything for you. I do carry a spare sponge as well, just in case. Um, again, it's in another pouch. I will show you that as well, but this has like 97% of all my makeup which I need while I'm traveling. So I have like, you know, three um, lip pencils here. Again, I carry one brown, one pink and one nude. Uh, these are my again highlighter brushes, all my brushes which I need. It even has mascara. So I carry one kajal pencil and one eyeliner. I don't carry a lot of them because um, I don't usually wear kajal and liner, but I just still have them, you know, just in case I need it for another look. For me, it's most of the things are like, what if I need it? What if I need it? So I have so much stuff so the last section would be this one which has my eyeshadow palettes two eyeshadow palettes i always travel with 
or at least have been with recently this is the morphe x james charles so this one first of all the size is apt that it fits in this bag so i started baking this and also because it has everything right this i bought back when like you know super hyped i probably would not purchase it again i'm not even sure if it's still in the market but i have it and it's very handy because it has colors as well it has neutrals as well so i'm like you know it depends on my mood if i want to do something colorful i have an option for it if i have want to do something neutral i do have an app option other colorful palettes i have are really big they are not travel friendly so this one i have and another one i always travel with is this two face teddy bear uh, eyeshadow palette this one only actually i use most of the time i don't even use that one on always on the go this is the palette for me because look at those shades i mean i don't think i need anything more than this when i'm doing a look it has browns it has pinks it has like coral shades as well so this is like a complete whole package for me and i always tend to go for this the mirror just broke i realized that but these two fall palettes again fit in that really nice cute pouch so yeah i think that's about it it also has like brow pencil then like benefit is this mascara is my favorite this crease lately i have been using this so much so again i carry two mascara one which gives me volume this two faced one bad girl love this gives me so much volume and the benefit one gives me a lot of length so for that moment at that time i'm like do you have, do i want volume or do i want like length <gasps> Yeah this is my makeup bag it has that mascara does not want to stay inside that's what she said but this is my makeup bag you guys i mean it contains like everything i need when i'm traveling and i do use a lot of products and i like to like you know build my base and like do this thing like once i feel like you're used to like full you know uh, glam or like the extraness it's like really difficult to tone it down in some way so for me to do minimal makeup i'm like but i you know i need this i need this i think i should add this it look more nice and you know and like that so and i end up taking most of the things and i do end up using most of them as well so that That's a good thing. It's not like I waste them. Picture. Abhi baaki hai mere do. Uh, so other than that, I have one more bag, which is basically things which don't fit in that. I put in this. So this is like a Too Faced setting spray, which is like quite big to fit in it. Then I have another setting spray. I have. Uh, you know, a sponge like a powder puff, etc. So you know, this is like a thing which is. a little extra or like things which basically don't fit in that but most of them like fit in that and it works for me perfectly and uh, i'm thinking what else there like i don't do this kind of video so whenever i'm i'm like you know am i missing on something am i supposed to say more am i supposed to show more yeah i think that wraps my what's in my travel makeup bag uh, show this is it this is the sh full full kit i travel when i'm you know i travel i take when i'm traveling I travel when I'm taking. Yes, Akanksha, amazing. You've just lost it at this point. Maaf kar dete. Jao, maaf kiya tumko. Tum apni chawal le lo. Jao. So yeah, guys, that's about it for this uh, video. I hope you enjoy it. I don't know if this is the type of content you will enjoy because I never put out such. So this is the beginning, I guess. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about the background as well. I really uh, like it. I'm so excited to film in it. So many different types. We have like. you know patience like patience so this video shout out goes to navya nirukonda thank you navya for always loving and supporting it absolutely means the world to me i'm not even kidding when i say that it means so much to me when you see comment and you know like share thoughts or whatever it is it's just so like heart filling for me and i really like reading your comments as well so anyway that's about it make sure like share and subscribe to my channel if you like what i do and i will see you in my next video bye